Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about AWS placement groups and I will show you today's session like a little bit theoretical knowledge and then I will more concentrate on how we can create a placement group and a different kind of placement group, how we can create and then I will show you how if you are launching issue to instance, how we can attach that issue to instance to a particular placement group. Okay guys, so let's jump to this. I have created this PPT for that. So the placement group, basically there are three defined type of placement group we have here. One is the cluster, one is the partition and one is the spread. Okay. So by cluster, by name itself, you guys can understand clearly like cluster means it's a cluster system, clustering system where is the single rack, multiple EC2 instance we can launch. Okay, guys. Here, uh, in, interesting thing is since in the single rack, we are launching multiple EC2 instance, right? So advantage is like all EC2 instance place in very close each other, right? So there will be in, uh, like performance will be very fast. Like they can accessible easily or here the network throughput will be up to 10 giga, gigabyte. Okay, that gigs speed will come. Okay. And here disadvantage also is there. Disadvantage is in send all the EC2 instance we are placing in a single rack, right? Since uh, all instances are single rack, if anything goes wrong to a particular rack, right? Then what happened? Like that entire EC2 instance will be lost. All the set of EC2 instance, it will be lost. So that's the biggest disadvantage of using this cluster partition. Okay, guys. And now next, the partition one. Partition one by naming itself, you can understand like instead of single rack, we will have the multiple rack, like a multiple partition kind of thing. And inside the partition, we can have multiple cluster kind of thing, multiple like issue to instance we can launch. Here also some limitation, some advantage, disadvantage is there. Advantage in the sense like uh, all the, like uh, you can like, uh, uh, what I can say, like all the issue to instance, right? All the rack, it will be since it is isolated, right? Isolated means all the uh, rack will be their own underlying hardware, right? So here advantage is if suppose partition one goes down or something goes wrong, only partition one, whatever issue to instance will be have, that will be lost. Not from partition two and partition three or uh, up to part, uh, seven partition we can create, right? So that kind of advantage here is there. And this kind of cluster basically we can use like when you are using like a big data kind of application like a HBase or maybe HDFS like a Hadoop distributed file system or Hadoop or EMR or maybe uh, Cassandra, Kafka, those kind of application if your application right like when we are uh, uh, like big data kind of application, one way I can say like big data, if it is your big, big data kind and then this partition will be the best choice to uh, select this one, okay? And last one is the spread one. Spread one like uh, by name itself, you can understand like in a single spread, multiple isolated uh, rack will be there. Multiple isolated rack in a, in a same available zone uh, or maybe different available zone within the region, okay guys? And then this rack, like all are having their own isolated hardware system also. Okay. And and the risks also will be the very uh, like failure, right? This risk is case of failure. It's like a bit low, not that much compared to other uh, like a partisan, like a partisan or cluster. Okay, guys. And this also like all that part, uh, like whatever spread uh, issue to instance will be there, right? All will be that uh, underlying own isolated hardware system. Okay, guys. And this rack spread placement group can be spanned multiple availability zone within the same region also. Okay. So let's go to the AWS console. Like we'll show you how we can create and how uh, and then how we can attach that placement group to the EC2 instance. Okay, guys. So I have already logged in that AWS console. And one more thing, guys, this is the AWS provided document where more details is there from here only I have prepared that PPT. So I will give this link to you guys in this video description link so that you guys can have a look. Okay guys, so now let's go to the EC2 instance. Basically this is the EC2 instance placement group, right? So let's go to the network and security. Under this network security, I have like here security group, elastic IP, placement group, key pair and network interface. So first one security group, I have already demonstrated the video in my previous session. So if you guys not yet watch, please have a look. And then another one is the Elastic IP. So Elastic IP, inside my video, I have already talked about what the Elastic IP and how we can use. 
but I will create a separate video also this one in my next subsequent video. Today our topic is the placement group and then key pair. I have already demonstrated key pair. So if you guys not yet watch that video, please have a look. And network interface also I have already talked about in between my video, but not a separate dedicated video about this network interface. I will create a separate video for this also so that it will be cover everything in the under network and security. OK, guys, so let's go to the to the placement group. And let's click on create. I was talking about that uh, there are different kind of uh, like placement strategy will be there, right? Clusters, prayer and partition, right? So this is one more thing, guys. This uh, party placement, it will be the free. It's on, there is no charge for you, but whatever instance, whatever resource you are using, uh, like EC2 instance, that charge will be there. Okay, guys, keep in mind if you are in the free tiers. So if you create the placement group, there will be no charge. But if you are launching high availability EC2 instance like T4 micro, 8x micro kind of thing, right? Then you have to pay based on your uh, users and uh, consuming all this thing. EC2 instance. Okay, guys. So let's click create here. So placement, placement group. And we can say and let's select the cluster first. Okay. Tag is the optional here. It's very simple, straightforward. You can create. Let's keep on. Placement groups, demo, then partition. Okay. Let's select the partition here. And then partition here is the number of partition. I was in my uh, PPT, I was talking about right? the partition have some limit. So in a particular region, you can only select in a particular partition or max seven. Beyond that, it, it won't allow in AWS. So this is the limitation of this partition. So for this today demo, either you can select one or maybe you can select two. Let's select two and click on create. And then last one is the spread one. Okay. So let's placement group demo rd spread one and then select the spread. Okay. And here the two options, the spread level, like uh, there is a one uh, rack. If you have any restriction, you can select that like outspot only and if you hotspot only or if you don't have then don't select that just to give the no restriction okay guys so what this determine the placement group spare instance you can only use horse level spare placement group on a outspot is okay so let's click on create so this creation is done now how we can assign this uh, particular placement group or how we can launch EC2 instance to this particular placement group, right? So let me show you that. So let's go to the EC2 instance, click on running EC2 instance, click on launch EC2 instance, and let's select the demo placement groups. Okay. C2, something like that. Any name you can give. Let's keep the free tiers. So now in the latest cloud provider, like in the free tiers also, we can select that uh, placement group. But uh, earlier it was that option was not there. We have to choose some high configured machine. Then only that placement group option used to come. Okay, guys. So that uh, now, but whoever using the latest AWS console for them is uh, in the under free tiers also it will come because. This placement group is totally free. If you are in the few tiers or you are in the learning stage, you can utilize this one. Only charge you have to keep in mind this is to instance selection type. Whenever you are selecting, please keep in mind if you are in a learner, then always select like the few tiers eligible instance. Otherwise, it will be the charge for you. Okay, guys. And then how the charge all this thing I have already demonstrated in my previous video. Let's select like the PPR here. And this is the networking. Let's select the networking. I have only one VPC, so let's select the default. And security group, I have already created in my previous video demo. So let's select this one. So if you guys not yet watch my uh, about this, how the security group, right? How this um, it is it to, to work, right? So I will recommend guys, please for more details, please have a look. This this is very interesting uh, topic one. And let's go here storage. Let's now our placement group will be the under advanced. OK, so their domain join. Let's keep I am I am instance policy. So this all I have already demonstrated in my previous video. So you guys can have a look 
and this instance auto recovery option shut down behavior stop termination protection stop protection this kind of like one on a ec2 instance one more level of security like if you stop protection delete enable disable right this is kind of protection okay so i have already talked about this thing in my ec2 session so you guys can have a look now coming to this uh, ram selection license uh, and here on the no I have up somewhere it will be the placement group. Yeah, this is the placement group. So I have already created since I have created all three is displaying here. If you not yet create here from here also, if you just click on create, it will navigate to you to that particular place placement group page and from there you can create. Okay, so this if anything you can select here like partition. If you say the partition, then it will give the option like which partition you would like to launch the ESO2 instance. Right? Or you can share the spread is it instance. OK, so this is how we can select low. So let me now let me select the cluster one and launch is instance, or maybe select the partition. And first partition, let me launch is it instance. So now let's go to the IC2. Um, for a second. So that's all about we can launch is two instance within that uh, placement group, and this is the kind of advantage disadvantage is there. But if this is like placement group, always will be recommended if you are using big data kind of application like a Hadoop, HBase, or EMR. Like the data, big data is nothing but where you are processing more data, right? By processing, either you can using EMR or MapReduce, or maybe you are using Spark job, whatever you are using that. If that kind of application it is, then I it will be recommended way to launch whatever application you are launching by using the EC2 instance, right? Those EC2 instance always keep in this kind of partition, so that will be the uh, a partition that will be the more benefit to you. Because it, since it is a defined kind of partition, one partition goes down, then remaining partition will be keep as it is, or maybe uh, since all are different kind of isolated hardware, right? So there will be uh, good like uh, no impact each other, right? So that uh, like advantage also you will get. Okay, guys. So I hope this session will helpful to you guys, and if you feel this video is valuable too, then please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. That will really inspire to me. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, chalo, bye.